It's time for us to develop a game over splash screen. Right now our game over screen is, well, it doesn't really exist. There's maybe even a little word that pops up that says game over, or maybe just everything stops working and you're magically supposed to know that the game is over. Uh, I used a different system. You can go in and choose um, the regular edit new thing using this paintbrush right here. I chose rather instead that I was going to use, um, I'm familiar with the GIMP, uh, which is a free download. The link is on the web page there, or you can do a search on Google for GIMP uh, and or GIMP.org and it'll come right up. This is my preferred choice. If you prefer to use Paint or Photoshop or something like that, feel free. And uh, for me, I just created a new and then I made sure that my image size, I did a, a 1024 by 768 which is a standard screen size. It worked really well for me, and when I hit OK, then I got something like that. I went ahead and, and had a lot of fun with it, and um, I actually made something that looks sort of like this. Um, and uh, I was, the checker marks, or checkerboard background is, is for transparency, for those of you that know about, or don't know about um, that. I found Scratch actually didn't accept the transparency. I was kind of hoping to have a sort of a foggy overlay with the words game over, but um, you can certainly kind of get the idea of what you're trying to do. I'm I'm not a graphic designer by trade, so that's about as fancy as I get is for a game over screen. Um, and so here is our Frogger screen again. And once you do that, then you're just going to click the import button. So I'm going to try this here. And then... Uh, I saved up on my desktop. You, of course, will save yours somewhere in the computer. And you can go into the proper folder. I hid mine way down in here just to make it that much more interesting to find. And here's my game over script. I actually saved it in a couple of different versions just to make sure. And when it comes in, uh, there's my game over script. I'm just going to call this game over. And I only want it to display when the game is actually over. Now, conveniently, a long time ago, we actually created a game over signal. Here it is here. Somehow it got dragged over to there. It's supposed to be at the bottom. And when the game is received, game over, then stop all. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a slight delay in there in between them. I'm going to wait... Oh, I don't know. How about five seconds? Okay. We can always come back and change that later on. And so now I'm going to go to my game over uh, splash screen. And at the very beginning of the game, obviously, it doesn't make any sense for this to be showing. So I'm going to hide it. And we're only going to show this at the very end when we get that game over uh, broadcast. So when I receive a game over, then I'm going to show, 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 show. But before I show, I should probably make sure that I'm at zero, zero. Now, I wonder where zero, zero is for this guy. Let's see, double click. Uh, let's just, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Double click. Okay, so that is zero, zero directly in the middle of the screen. You might want to test that on your system as well. Um, so I can throw you away now. So when I receive the game over, I'm going to go to zero, zero, and I'm going to show this screen. Now I might want a slight delay on that every so often people don't like it when the game over screen just pops right up right away. So I'm going to put a one second delay on that. Okay. So go here and test this out. Okay. You'll see it. Now, I, I had game over at three lives, and the reason for that is just so that the, the game over happens really quickly. If you want to have game over at five lives or more, then that's fine. So I, I've got a delay. That comes up, and then, okay. So I had a slight delay there. The ah still happened, which is a little bit weird that the ah didn't go away right away. But let's leave that for now. That's a game over thing that comes up, and then everybody knows they have to click the green flag to play it again. That's all for today.